is Sports Ability Day. The enthusiasm, I suppose the lack of caution, the fact that you see uh, children and adolescents and adults uh, that have or perceived to have less ability than the rest of us and yet there are no cotton wool kids here. Once we see here today table tennis, rugby, soccer, basketball, volleyball, all of the mainstream sports that we all talk about. Sportability Day has probably two aspects for us in that it allows us to show the communities what we have to offer but the best part of it is it brings potential new athletes into our sport. These sports inclusion development days are fantastic for people to uh, be introduced to sport. Uh, it, we see the array of sports that are out there uh, from table tennis to cycling, uh, to horseback riding to whatever it is. A uh, great opportunity for people and it's an introduction for people uh, to see what sports they like. And what we in the Sports Partnership and the Sports Council always talk about is everyone is welcome to sport, irrespective of ability. For inclusive sport, today is a day that brings all these people together and I think there's just such a feel-good factor of sharing a common purpose and just trying to create a better society for not just people with disabilities but for all people who are involved in sport.